This is Yoyoi Kusama, famous Japanese artist. She's been doing art since the 1950s. She's most well known in all sorts of categories as she's very versatile with her art. The materials Yoyoi Kusama mostly works with are sculptures, oil painting. Uh, she later had photography added to her list of artworks. Yuyoi Kusama was very motivated as she had many driving forces. Yuyoi Kusama began her extensive career from painting in her hometown, Matsumoto, Japan. She had started creating paintings for herself and her family when she was only 10 years old, though she was not fully supported by her family. She created paintings that had infused her hallucinations and visions at a very young age. Yoyoi had been dealing with a mental illness her whole life, and to worsen the situation, she was living in a toxic home. Abused as a child, Yoyoi managed to create a career for herself, expressing her opinions on infinite universes she believed could exist. Although Kusama was not fully exposed to the World War II, she had strong feelings opposing the war in Vietnam later in her extensive career. Her strong opinions on the downsides of war led her to create new pieces with different motives in her years of photography. Yuyue was someone who filled with talents besides painting, for example, sculpting, photography, installation art, performances, and conceptual art. It goes without saying that Yoyoi values her art as much as her life because it is what got her through her biggest troubles as a child and still to this current day. Yoyoi has been making art for many decades. Because she's been making art for so long, it is obvious she would be mentioned in many news articles. In one by Hyperallergic, they talk about Yayoi's new installation to a new museum. Yayoi's installation art is something really to admire. Her pieces, especially some of her most, most famous ones, utilize the viewers because the art is immersive. A new piece by Yayoi Kusama titled Longing for Eternity was added to the Broad Museum in Los Angeles, California. Hyperallergic called her new addition to the museum less immersive than standing at the center of a, such a space. The experience is no less brilliant. This new source draws the comparison to one of her previous installation works called The Souls of Millions Light Years Away and decides to exemplify the difference. Kusama's newest addition is a box that people can lift their head into and experience the universe with lasers within a box. Again, her slight obsession with polka dots is relevant as the lasers are used to represent the exact same. Kusama finds comfort in using these ran this random pattern because it could describe the way she feels mentally and what she sees visually. The article, article later goes on to describe the amount of people who may visit the display. The Broad told Hyperallergic earlier this year that the wait times for the souls of millions of light years away vary widely, from just a few minutes to several hours, they were told. To me, the wait time resembles the success that Yoyoi Kusama has had as an artist. Not only are the wait times a positive sign, but this piece would also be the second inclusion to this museum. Many people enjoy her artwork, and many museums choose to install new pieces, especially installation art made by Yoyoi Kusama because of its great immersive detail. This piece made by Yoyoi Kusama is called The All Eternal Love I Have for Pumpkins. She made it in 2016. It is located in London, and it has its own exhibition dedicated to Yoi Kusama. This installation art, as you can see, is full of bright yellow, 
with the same repeated pattern of polka dots. Her obsession with polka dots is relevant through all her art, and as you can see in this photo, every pumpkin is, has some sort of polka dots in stripes or in random formations. The mirrors are an added feature because Yayoi Kusama always liked the, the idea of infinity. This is a photo by Yayoi Kusama. It is titled Sex Obsession, Food Obsession, Macaroni Infinity Nets, and Kusama. This was made in 1962, and you can see the polka dot pattern come back into her, even her photos. It is a black and white photo because she wants you to imagine whatever you want to imagine and create something visually stimulating which is why there's polka dots everywhere. This is a photograph by Yayoi Kusama. It's called The Anatomic Explosion on Wall Street. 1968 is when it was made. This is one of Yayoi Kusama's performance art photographs that she held close to her because of her trauma with war. She made this performance art outside of on Wall Street so that she could show the world that the money that Wall Street was making was going straight to war and she felt that was not right. This relates to other fields like modeling, journalism, or even just other performance arts that could blend in with this. There is a lot of interest in photography because it is a huge field of study that a lot of people choose to go into. Yayoi Kusama's photography holds a lot of meaning, which is why I value her art above other artists. I enjoy Yayoi Kusama's work overall because of her versatility in the field. She has beautiful paintings that she has created, young and at of her age currently, that are beautiful and breathtaking. Her art spreads worldwide and she is well renowned. As seen above is some street art that you could see it was made with the polka dots that she is slightly obsessed with. I find her art very appealing and if I were to see it in my community I would be very much pleased. Yayoi Kusama was also able to make beautiful sculptures with vibrant colors that would resonate throughout the museum. The amount of detail and inner polka dots that she uses is magnificent. And it all has meaning and correlates back to what she was doing when she was a child.